Hi, I'm Zach Newton, a second year pediatric nephrology fellow at Johns Hopkins. The title of my abstract is 25 hydroxy vitamin D deficiency and risk of dyslipidemia in children with chronic kidney disease. Vitamin D plays an important role in helping the body build and maintain bone. However, vitamin D deficiency is quite common in the US and worldwide and can lead to weak bones as well as other health problems. In adults, vitamin D deficiency has also been identified as a risk factor for dyslipidemia. People with dyslipidemia have inappropriate levels of lipids, either too much bad cholesterol or too little good cholesterol. And this can lead to buildup of cholesterol plaque in blood vessels. And if there's too much buildup, the blood vessel can become blocked, leading to heart attack, stroke, or blood clot. Due to these risks, we looked at the association between vitamin D and dyslipidemia in children, which has not been as well explored. We focus specifically on children with chronic kidney disease who have been shown to have high prevalence of both vitamin D deficiency and dyslipidemia. We performed a cross-sectional analysis using longitudinal data from just under 600 children in the chronic kidney disease in children study, which is a multi-center prospective cohort study of children with chronic kidney disease. We compared vitamin D levels at one study visit with cholesterol or lipid levels at the following study visit. And we had a total of 1,012 of these paired measurements. We found that children with vitamin D deficiency had a significantly higher prevalence of three clinically determined definitions of dyslipidemia, high triglycerides, high non-HDL cholesterol, and low HDL cholesterol when compared with those with sufficient vitamin D. After taking into account other possibly confounding factors, including the amount of protein in the urine, kidney filtering ability, underlying cause of chronic kidney disease, and body mass index or BMI, vitamin D sufficiency remained associated with 38% lower odds of high non-HDL cholesterol. Non-HDL is important for clinical management of cardiovascular disease risk because it's less likely to be impacted by fasting status when checking cholesterol levels and is often what the recommendations tell us we should target. These findings can help identify patients at higher risk of dyslipidemia based on their vitamin D sufficiency. The study findings also warrant further investigation into whether providing supplemental vitamin D to these children may prevent or delay progression of dyslipidemia. And finally, I wanna thank my co-authors, Juhi Kumar, Joseph Flynn, Derek Ng, and my mentor, Meredith Atkinson. Thanks so much.